Yeah. So, so to clarify, you said there you would not lose character progress, or you would have a character reset. Sorry. Uh, I'm... for the current for the current design, yes, you will lose. Okay. Yeah. Um. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another Once Human video. First off, I want to start this off by saying thank you guys so much for all the support on my most recent videos of Once Human. All the likes, all the comments, I really appreciate it. You know, it makes making all those videos very worth it. So I really do appreciate it. And today we got a little bit of controversial video to talk about. Um, so one of you guys just left a comment on my video, of, you know, a while back. You know, it was today, and I just now seen it, and I didn't know about this, but apparently there is going to be seasonal wipes in the game. And they, you know, I'll post the comment on the screen. Basically, what they're saying, you know, they were watching King Gotha Lions. Uh, Twitch stream with a developer, which I also watched, but I was also playing Once Human while I was watching it, so I guess I wasn't paying too much attention. But apparently, uh, there's going to be seasonal wipes, just like if you think about Escape from Tarkov or you know Diablo, any of those type of games where every season they completely wipe your inventory, level one all over again. For me, I've had so much fun with this game and I like it so much that it don't really throw a damper in it for me. Like I'm still going to play this game. But I know there is a lot of people out there that just literally refuse to play games based off of the simple fact that they wipe and you have to restart, you know, every two months or whatever. And apparently the wipes in Once Human, as of now, like all this is subject to change. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for community feedback. And I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. Like there is a hundred, probably a hundred thousand people out there having a blast with this game right now. And I would be willing to bet 95,000 of them do not even know about the seasonal wipe thing. And I just, I'm curious on what your guys' opinions are. Like I said, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I will admit I stopped playing Diablo 4 after about a month and a half whenever the new season came. Haven't touched it since. I've never played Escape from Tarkov. And that's for two reasons. One, because of the wipe thing. And two, the learning curve is so steep. And, you know, there's people who have been in there playing that game for four or five years and here comes, you know, little old me. Nah, not happening. Ain't got time for that. But... Apparently, there's going to be seasonal wipes, and every season there'll be new blueprints, new monsters, new terrain, new weather. Um, I'm going to post the original video in the description with a timestamp of when you can go. Like the, the whole conversation is about six or seven minutes long about the seasonal wipe thing. You can go watch it yourself, but there is a, a little bit of a language barrier there between Gothelion and I think his name is Derek. Big D, anyway. So at first he says no, but then I don't think really understood the question that Goth was asking. And then he doubled back and he said, yes, you will lose all progression. Now, in my opinion, it's not that bad. But would what would suck is like, what if you, you know, apparently as of now, the only thing that you would keep would be like cosmetic items. But what about like, would you guys, what do you guys want? Would you guys want to at least keep your blueprints? Or, you know, and he also did say that there'll be seasonal blueprints, like, you know, a blueprint that you can only get in, you know, this season and every season there'll be new blueprints. I don't know. It's just, I did not know about this at all. And like I said, I watched this interview. I guess I just wasn't paying attention enough. But if you think about it, you know, when you think about it from a PVP perspective, like, I swear I heard at one point that they are going to have like strictly PVP servers, kind of like how Rust does. If you think about it from that perspective, it makes total sense because, you know, say there was no seasons, right? And this guy's been playing the game for nine months. He hasn't gotten off of it. And then little Timmy buys the game that Tuesday and he goes in there level one and everybody else is like, you know, level 99 and they got everything and he's trying to build a base and set up and he's just literally getting the, he's literally getting himself wiped off the map every time he spawns in. I don't know if there's going to actually be PvP only servers, but that is what I've heard. So, what's your guys' opinions? I want to see, you know, leave it in the comments below. I'm very curious because I feel like there is a lot of people out there that would completely make this a deal breaker for them for once human. And I really I really think that because there's a lot of people out there that just refuse to play games that do seasonal wipes because of the whole seasonal wipe. Now, for you guys that have been playing Once Human, is this a deal breaker for you? Do you have any suggestions of where they could, you know, make it better? You know, maybe eight weeks or maybe you don't lose your blueprints. I don't know. It's just weird. Like, you're going to be completely restarting from, you know, level one every six weeks. 
So let me let me know in the comments, guys. I'm really curious on what a lot of people think about this. Uh, I didn't see it coming, and I'm, I really appreciate the comment. And like I said, I'll leave some clips of what he actually says either at the end of the beginning of the video. You've already seen it if it's at the beginning. But uh, yeah, and then I'll leave the full video in the description. Like I said, guys, let me know. I want to know. I want to know what you think. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's your boy, Motivated Devil. Super Fidelis out.